I'm Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy and welcome to another video in our continuing series of educational support for beauty and barber professionals. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and in many ways it's morphed beyond just the focus of breast cancer despite the fact that that's been a cancer of focus and a charity and illness of focus for the beauty industry. It's really morphed into a general health and wellness month for women. Now we know November, Movember, the whole men's health and mustache thing is coming up in just a couple of weeks, but we thought at this time, October, November, we do a video focusing on an aspect of health and wellness that relates to the work we do as beauty and barber as haircutting professionals. So what we want to talk about today is the question, when is it appropriate to refer a client to a dermatologist? And I think that's a great question. Here's my top tips in that category. Number one, as a haircutting professional, I think it's very important that each and every one of us have an existing relationship with a dermatologist. Find a dermatologist, pay him a visit, make an appointment and go see him, tell him why you're making that appointment, bring a handful of your cards and trade them for a handful of their cards. I think it's great for a beauty and barber professional to have an existing relationship with a dermatologist, even better if that's a dermatologist that just that does hair transplantation because they will tell you one of the most common questions they get of a hair transplant patient is who should cut this because after they transplant it they don't want to have anything to do with it it's our job to deal with it after that they could be a source of great referral for you conversely you need a go-to so number one have an existing relationship with a dermatologist and number two is have their cards in your front desk or in your station drawer so when the subject or conversation comes up you are ready as a professional to steer your client in a very positive and helpful direction. Number three on the list is if you see something, say something. It works for more than just domestic terrorism. If you see something on a client's scalp, a weird looking mole, an unusual birthmark, a crazy spot, if you see something, say something. I can't see the back of my own head. You're the one that looks at it every month for me when you cut my hair. I'm counting on you to be that source of help and support for me. Number four on the list is follow up. If you see something, say something. And on a subsequent visit with a client, take a look again and follow up and say, Hey, did you ever go to see Dr. Bob about that spot I mentioned on the back of your head? Because it's one thing for us to point it out. It's another thing for us to follow up on it. And last on the list is very important to remember, you're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. We have no training in education, nor license or scope of practice under which we can diagnose what we see. We can use that catch-all favorite fallback word, suspect. I suspect you got something going on here. It keeps it safe for us, and it also carries the amount of gravity that will make a client go, eh, maybe I better go see Dr. Bob. I'm Ivan Zut for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. Thank you for watching this video. I hope we continue to be helpful to you in building and growing your business and advancing your career. Thanks for watching and have a great day.